we're back with some more RimWorld. And we have some inbound void things. Uh, yeah, it turns out you can't really turn all of those things off. We've turned them off for Winston Waves, which, okay, Winston Waves isn't on at the moment. But uh, we've got a, these are basically counted as sort of wild animals and they look incredibly dangerous. So let's try and take a few pot shots as them come in and hopefully they're spread out enough that we can stop them. Oh, Tyler, have you finished those walls? Excellent. I've decided our choke point is going to be back here. Uh, oh, let's hope this works out. I am not too hopeful. Void things are... Okay. That thing just ate a bunch of damage, but it is bleeding out. Hmm. I say Bjorn goes and holds the door. Uh, Basil, you go behind them. And everyone's go gonna go behind you too. Yeah, right about there. Go, 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 go. Everyone in. That was... That looked organized. That actually looked like you knew what you were doing. Eh. Uh, ow. Bjorn, how you doing? Huh. Okay. I was really expecting these things to be... Well, far more painful. But that's okay, that's okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just do the same thing again. Oh. I didn't notice that one was so close. Never mind, we'll just stay right here. That was just a waste of time moving. And we'll make sure that... Basil goes there. The reason with Basil there is they have good armor, which means if Bjorn falls or takes too much damage, we can swap them out. Yeah, you've taken uh, some damage, but not so much that I'm too concerned. Whew. And these guys look far tougher. They're moving a lot slower, and slower usually means more damage. So let's see if we can't soften these ones up before they get closer. Oh, actually perfect. No, not perfect. How is it still moving? And the thing is, we're slowing them down by shooting them. And it also seems to... Yeah, no, that one's gonna... That one's gonna close the distance. You know what? Everyone back up. Get behind Bjorn again. And... We'll check over here. Chris back there. And Basil to the front line. Maybe we should have kited this one. Oh, the wave of bullets just literally stopped them dead. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, excellent. Everyone back to work. Whew. Let's just hope we don't get attacked by any of the actual void people. That would be kind of fatal. No, we're currently going through a solar flare. Uh, hopefully it'll come back online before our fridge food expires. However, what's the plan for today? Well, uh, there is a few things we want to take care of. Uh, namely, we want to get our hands on all the components at this site. Uh, we also want to go to this Red Imperium outpost and grab ourselves the two silent Neuroformers that are there. And as well as that, I would like to take on this quest. There is a quest here that says, yeah, 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 they'll put a psychic suppressor machine on us and in exchange we get some jade and a shock lance. I want the shock lance for recruitment purposes so we can hopefully recruit a psychically hypersensitive female or two for the team. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with four man-hunting raccoons, but that's fine. And since the psychic suppressor only affects females... We don't really care too much because we only have four of those. Um, yeah, so we can take a squad of about three people and go crush that. In fact, let's do that now. Yeah, what have you got? It's 7 a.m. in the morning. Everyone's well rested. There was an attack recently, so hopefully we won't get one anytime soon. And that is literally right next door. I think that's as close as anything can possibly spawn. All right, let's get a quick team together. They're quickly going to put together a caravan. We are sending Tyler, namely because they're male and they're pretty good gun shooting, etc. Sending Riza, male, not a great shooter, but they also have a nice bonus going on for them where they have no recent conquests. Uh, because of the religion they currently have, it's messing with their happiness, so going on a nice conqu conquest mission should help them out. Uh, Idris is coming because also no recent conquests is giving them a minus 18 mood. And Suncrest also because they've no recent conquests. They're the only female on the team. Uh, oh, and the pods have already arrived. So we've already got our hands on... What, one second, get rid of all that. We've already got our hands on the Psychic Shock Lance, which is currently equipped on Wojciech. Yep, yeah, Wojciech's got it on them. And if anyone shows up, we can hopefully recruit them. I was going to send it with the caravan, but... Yeah, I was... Yeah, it seemed like a, a dangerous risk because we could get attacked while they're gone. And if we're attacked while they're gone, that's, well, four members of our firepower gone. I would prefer to have the Shock Lance at home. And all we got to face here is, I think, four raccoons? Possibly a hidden threat? Uh, could be risky. Where are we? Oh, we're over here. Uh, perfect. What is that animal even... Ah, oh, the meals and the medicine. Right, you four. Uh, and it's raining, of course, which makes this just that little bit worse. Uh, go over here. Quick, 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 quick. We need to get a bead in them. 
Please do not accidentally shoot the cougar. There we go. And the cougar's going the other direction. Who should go up front to tank? And uh, who's got the... Actually, no, we do want them tanking. Who's got good armor? Actually, Idris has the best armor of the lot of them, so... Go Idris, I suppose. Eh. Keep shooting, keep shooting. You know what? Wow. Our shooting sucks. Just, it sucks so bad. Idris, how you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah, your shooting sucks because you lost a hand. Don't worry, we'll fix that later. And uh, did I bring someone with medical skill? Really should... Yes, yes, it's okay. We brought someone with medical. Uh, Tend them without medicine, if you wouldn't mind. You two, get over here. We need to get rid of uh, this thingy we want it. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Uh, yeah, just attack away. 98, 97, 6. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, we'll he heal you up. You will be fine. You'll walk it off. Just don't get any infections if you could avoid it. Right. Destroyed. Perfect. And we even get a few things to bring back with us. Is there anything worth killing on the map in terms of wildlife? Uh, no, not really. Plus, the people here really don't like us. Or the, uh, the these animal guys, the fairies, they don't like when we kill people. And they don't seem to consider this a conquest. Well, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping that would work. Yeah, let's head back home anyway. So the reason we're in this silly situation, and by silly situation, I mean having a bunch of pawns of all different religions all inside one colony, is because we turned on Winston Waves for a while, and then we just had to hire a whole bunch of people just to barely survive it. Which, you know, it's a good motivational strategy to live. Now that we've got them here, though, it's a, like, long term, it's a problem because, well, without conquest, they've all got these competing things they want. Like, these people can't eat meat, they don't like if we kill animals, so they're trying to stay away from the foods we're making. Which, yeah, is a problem. Uh, also, as well as that, some of them would prefer if we went and went on some murder rampages, so we're gonna have to do that. I figure our best bet is to head over here and grab this component mining site. That should count as a conquest. Uh, then we can also pop over here and grab the outpost that's got those silent neuroformers. So what I've been doing is... I've set our four intrepid explorers to nothing but recreation. Namely so that they can get, you know, fed, watered, all that sort of stuff. The four explorers are Vocek, Tyler, Riza, and Troma. Uh, Troma we haven't named yet, probably because we're not going to keep her. Uh, she's coming along because basically she's a shooter and that's all she's good at. Uh, Riza is because they're their only portable medic who we can let go away from the colony for any length of time, not because of their shooting skill. Uh, Tyler and Vocek because, well, they're reasonably solid colonists, they've got decent shooting and they've got good guns. They're basically the firepower of the situation. I would prefer not to bring Tyler, but we're limited in our options here. They're a pyromaniac and if they have a mental break on right now, about, that could be kind of fatal. But, eh, whatever. From now, I think everyone has, yep, they're all recreated up, they're all good to go. In fact, we can switch their schedules back to normal so I don't forget about that later. And it's time to go on a little bit of a... F damn it. Time to go on a little bit of a raiding spree. The colony is looking really sparse right about now. If we get attacked, we're going to have to run. We can't defend it with what we have. Oh, also, Chris is currently unconscious from doing that whole time skip meditation thing. I want them to be able to drain souls so we can get rid of them. Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to dump them shortly, and I would like to get at least two more life drains out of them before we kick them out of the kick them out of the place. Uh, how are we doing? Wow. You guys are taking forever to get there. I thought you'd be there already. Oh. Nighttime assault? I might be okay. Oh, nope. I'm not sure about taking on the Empire as well. Two Empire troops against our four? We'll see how we go up against the Tribals. If we take any scratches against the Tribals, we're definitely not going up against the Empire. We're just about to hit that outpost, and I think... I think we're going to rest for the night. Everyone's sleep deprived, so I say we rest. Let everyone recover. And then in the morning, once everyone's had a good night's sleep and a bit of a snack, we go in and start killing some tribals. Our team is looking far more well rested. Uh, let's uh, begin the attack, shall we? Go for it. Uh, we'll have a stallion with us, which we'll leave at the back, but I think this should be fairly okay. There's only three tribals. How tough can it be? Oh. this I was just expecting a shack in the middle. All right, then. Uh, we're looking for your components. Uh, ooh, got a bunch of ur uranium gibbet cage? That's made of uranium? 
Oh, we have to scrap that up and bring that uranium back with us. We have no uranium on our home map that I've been able to find. Right. Use all together. Uh, we are going to attack from a distance. If any of them look like promising, psychically hypersensitive females, we shall zap them with the shock lance. Anyone? Ooh. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We got a reclusive child farm... Farmer? Wimp, slowpoke, industrious. No. And nudist, caring. Also no. And let's get a little bit closer. What do we got over here? We got red. They're the final one. Abandoned child, digger, undergrounder. No. Any of you got anything? Ooh, someone's got a silent level. And they've also got a knife. You have got a knife as well. So basically, we just want to shoot them from a distance. Uh, tribes people are attacking. No, they're not. And now they are. Come on, come on. Yep, perfect. One down. Hit the second one if you wouldn't mind. Wow. Red's got that mountain, mind vi mountain man vibe going on. Two down. Problem solved. Uh, Kanto? Nope. I love the sound of that gun. That heavy M heavy M HMG. It's got a beautiful sound to it. We might make a few more of those when we get the chance. All right, let's uh, claim these things. Yeah, uh, we're going to want to dis deconstruct that. Yeah, we'll open it and deconstruct it, but uranium is pretty rare to come by. That was a good spot. Uh, honestly, I was not even going to bother. I never even thought those things could be made of uranium. How much uranium have I missed out on over the years then? Uh, we have the 20 components we were looking for. That's perfect. I suppose you guys have any chairs by any chance. No, but they do have some bedrolls, which yeah, I suppose we can take them with us. Why not? Uh, uranium gibbet cage. We shall... Yeah, we want to claim this. There's a second uranium cage at the back? What the hell? How much uranium have I been missing out on? You, get back there and deconstruct that. Oh, and they've also got some, you know, people in these cages. Whatever. All right, once that uranium cage is dis, uh, just deconstructed, we're going to move on. This also nets us some pemmican, which we can carry with us. That's going to help tide us over for this next raid. I am really glad we brought the horse. That uranium weighs, well, not quite a ton, but about 60 kilos. That's a hell of a lot to carry. We don't want any of these steel weapons or any of their clothing. Uh, thank you for everything, and goodbye. Yeah, I, th I think we do it. I think we try and tangle with the Empire. Worst case scenario, we do have a shock lance, so we should be able to save ourselves if something goes horribly wrong. All right, royalty people, let's see what you got going on in here. Normally I don't go angry with the Empire for stuff, but uh, I, I thought it was a nice way to get our hands on these things earlier. Otherwise, it just takes so long to get stuff out of the Empire, and uh, they've got a shuttle and everything here. Solar panels. Uh, do you guys have any uranium cages? Just out of curiosity here. No, no. Oh, there's one. Huh. Just, we need that a bunch of uranium for some of the things we want to do later. All right. Line them up. They're probably going to have ranged weaponry, so we're going to want to get cover. And here might be our best bet. Uh, yeah, something like that. We'll have to rearrange it so our more heavily armored people are up front. And if we could split them up and nab them one at a time, so that end of it, that would be great. Uh, there's one. Oh, okay, so we got a close ranger, steel plate armor, cloth thrower, limestone hammer with a shield belt. Right, what are you? You are a pyromaniac. Well, yeah, good for you. Death acidifier. Yep, yep, pretty much the standard. Now, where's the other one? Come on, there's normally two of you. Okay, in that case, if there's one ranged, we can try and draw them out, and if we can kill them first, makes our lives th just that much better easier. Come on, come on. Oh, there's the second one. Ranged. Oh, they got a decent gun as well. Trigger happy. Oh, I hate trigger happy. Death acidifier, left leg bite scare. Moving at 4.2. Moving at 3.8. Wow, we missed just so badly. Okay, that guy's far enough away that I think we got this. Okay, we need someone to run distraction. Uh, Rizza? Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, Riza, I want you to punch them in the face. Ooh. Okay, okay, that worked. Uh, we need to run. Actually, no. Is there any animals on this map? 
Damn it, I should have used the wildlife thingy. What's it? Animal war call. Come, my furry brethren. Strike them down. Uh, you guys run back a bit. Okay, you. Uh, we want you to... Watching four targets. Okay, cool. We're just going to run back a bit from that guy. We're going to let the raccoon draw his attention. Perfect. Riza. Your job? Melee. Yep. The raccoon has bought you as much time as it possibly could. Ow. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, get in close, start shooting. Okay, come on, die. Ooh. Okay then. Right foot bruise from the hammer. Left leg, service rifle, left leg tibia. Okay, okay. They don't drop their guns anymore. It used to be the Death of City Fires wouldn't take out the guns. Well, that's unfortunate. And you didn't have a Death of City Fire? Huh. I mean, not that we really want your steel plate mail, but it was just... Actually, we might grab that shield belt, though. Yeah, we'll definitely grab that shield belt before we go. Uh, time to medicine everyone up and find the Silent Neuroformers and maybe grab ourselves some more uranium. Oh, and deconstruct that solar generator. Damn it, so many things to do. We'll get everyone healed up real quick. Just uh, stand around and wait for Rizzi to get around to you. That's to tend to themselves first. All right, and you, uh, tend trauma there too. Turns out this guy with the hammer was still alive. You can't really see him because he's uh, under Rizzi there, but yes, yeah, four hours until they bleed out. Um, I think we're going to capture them, not because we want them, but because we can release them to the Empire for a little bit of goodwill. Currently the Empire minus 85 of us, but I think we can get another 15 happy points with them once we uh, give them one of their people back. We can, you know, attack them, capture their people and give them back their people, which will make them happy with us technically. All right, let's get out of here. I think we've got everything. We even dismantled the landing pad so we could get the extra components out of it. It's actually quite a decent haul. There's the two Silent Neuroformers. We found them in one of the side rooms. We've got our 25 components. Uh, we've got an Eltex cape, an Eltex mask, and an Eltex shirt for our caster. Though, honestly, all of those are pretty trash. Uh, this one gives a plus 6% to psychic sensitivity. This one gives plus 10, and the Eltex shirt gives plus 8. I mean, it's not nothing. It's just not great. One staff does better than all of that. All right, I think that is everything. We could take this fire foam popper, but... Actually, yeah, let's take the fire foam popper as well. We'll find a use for it. Really glad I brought that horse. In fact, we might get another horse at some point. Are you telling me it's faster to go that way? You took the road here, but you're taking the straight route back? I really feel like that road would be a better use of the terrain. All right, point nine of a day until they return home, which means, yep, tomorrow night. Great. Ah, back home. Chris is up and about again, which means it's time for them to de-age a bit. Uh... Thank you, Shaw, for your service. What are you up to? 54. Yeah, let's uh, grab another couple of years off you. That gives us four years, uh, makes us four years younger and you 20 years older. I think we can give you one more. As you age them up, they keep getting a higher and higher risk of a heart attack when you do that. And basically it insta-gives them, which could be a problem. No, did not die. They're now 74. Perfect. We will just release them. Uh, yep, good luck. Thank you for that, and we'll have Chris... Well, in about five days, once they wake up, they're in a little bit of an aging sickness coma. We'll let Chris go back, meditate up, uh, get their psi focus back, and they're a nice, balmy, young, 19 years of age after all of that. I'm just looking at a return path home, and there's just this little place right here, this farming work site. We don't even want the tox potatoes, but... I mean, it'd be rude not to just stop by and say hello. Plus, it'll clear that out off the map and... Maybe we'll get more quests, uh, maybe better ones, so two people? Yeah, I think we can stop and have a quick word with them. What the? You've detected a farming site nearby, controlled by the... Right. So yeah, we wipe these out, new ones spring up faster, so let's maybe chop out a few more. I mean, this one disappears in six days, but if we kill a couple of people there, it'll disappear a little bit faster. Oh, and how many is that this one? Seven people. Okay, so these are definitely older quest ones. Well, there's two of them there. We have... Where's the prisoner? Uh, will he try and make a break for it while we're here? I don't think so. But let's... Yeah, let's keep an eye on him. Oh, never mind. He's he's disabled entirely. That's great. Uh, where are these guys? 
Yep, there they are. We've got two of them. You are male, trigger happy, annoying voice, no good to us. Uh, male, uh, yeah, no, you're both absolutely useless. I almost want to just run off the map, but it'd be a shame not to kill them while we're here. Come here. Come here. There you go. They're finally attacking. Don't attack together. If you could spit up, that would be better. Melee guy first. Wow. That guy just ran straight through a hail of bullets. Riza, could you charge forward, please? Never mind. I was going to get you to melee down that archer. We didn't want him. Never mind. And then we can just kill this guy. If he survives, great. If he doesn't, well, who cares? Where did they even find that many tox potatoes? You know what? Doesn't matter. We got everything we wanted. Let's go. The team have returned to a much, much happier encampment. Bjorn is... Wow. I don't... Why are they so maxed out? That is crazy good. Uh, Suncrest is happy because, well, there's been recent conquests. Even Basil is happy. Everyone is happy. Well, okay. Except for Jason. They're always depressed. But, you know, they're borderline. They're almost, almost not depressed. This is... This is the happiest I think I've ever seen the colony. All right, uh, let's uh, quickly check in the kitchen here. I want to move the kitchen over here closer to the food supply. That means we can rip out this fridge and do a few things, but this should be fairly quick. We're going to make it entirely out of sandstone because we have way too much of that lying around the place. We keep turning all the marble into statues. And there's our new kitchen. We just moved over the electric stove. We literally just transferred the whole lot over there by reinstalling them. We moved over all the shelving. Now it's a little bit closer to the farming area. You gotta be really careful with these things, though. We don't want people coming in here and then walking through the kitchen to get into the base. The more people I have to track through here, the more they're gonna carry through dirt and the more likely we are to get food poisoning. So this is a bit of a dead end. And anyone wanting to bring crops from here into the storage room is gonna have to, like, walk through these two doors, walk through here and in through there. It should work out. Uh, no one should... Uh, no one should really come in here to go into the fridge. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It should be a reasonably solid fridge. Or kitchen slash fridge area. All right, uh, this can go. We're not going to need that anymore. Or, uh, Jeanette, I think about it. I can leave it there. There's no point deconstructing it. We can stick a power wire right there. We can turn it off and maybe turn it on if things we get a heat wave or something in the future. And this frees up a bunch of space in this area. We can now deconstruct all of this junk. Uh, we will leave that right there. Otherwise, we might get a collapse. Uh, yeah, if the roof in the middle might collapse because it's too far away from any supports. Trimming-wise, we've trimmed all of this area out as much of the mountain as we can take without going under a deep mountain. That uh, darkish green color there, that's deep mountain, and that's how you get infestations. We don't want bugs. Bugs are a real pain. They're, once you have the tools, it's easy to deal with them, but early on, they're just nightmarish. Oh, we did a, a quick harvest as well to get ourselves some more of the psychoid leaves. Uh, Tyler, actually, is Tyler going to be our best? No, I think the best person for this... Wojciech. They've got high intellectual skill, which is what counts for making drugs, and they're a fast learner, which means they'll get even faster. And Tyler, what are you even doing there? Your intellectual is, is minuscule. The problem with this, this is a crafting skill. Uh, this is for, uh, like, under crafting, it says, work at synthesizing drugs. We, But the thing is, the skill required in this is actually intelligence, which is all the way down here. So we're going to install a little bit of a mod to take care of that, so that we don't we can div divvy up these jobs just a little bit more granularly. We install the work tab mod. Now, all this does is makes things more granular. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get everyone who's got research and sort by researching skill. That's what really matters for making drugs. We've got Wojciech at the top here, which is the wood we want to set up to make drugs. It would be under crafting. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this double arrows here and expand. Don't panic. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, where is it? All the way over to here. Crafting. Exit. So under crafting here, it's actually broken up all those things into their own individual little sections. So for example, here is synthesized drugs. Excellent. So what we can do is crank that up to a two. And then we can take everyone else's and turn it off. Uh, actually, how do we... Oh, God, there must be some way to minimize that really quickly. Well, no, I had to manually click through there. Maybe there's a shortcut for actually disabling that. But this means the only person who can now make drugs is Wojciech. Well, for now, we'll be adding more people later. Uh, Basil here, it says they can, though... Technically, they can't. Basil can't because they have no, they're incapable of intellectual. But that means Tyler should now, once they finish this batch, stop because they will be unable to take any fresh jobs in that category. Are you done? And, oh, wait, yeah, they're, they're smoke deep joints. Uh, fine. Uh, once they're finished, where's Wojciech? What are you doing? Hauling potatoes? 
No, 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 buddy. Once you're finished that job, it should take over. Making flake. There we go. We check under the work tab, minimize this back down again. You'll see that for grow and plant, they've got a two, and they've got a two in craft, but there's that little sort of weird half circle symbol there beside it. That means there's some messed up priorities in there, as in there's something's higher priority in there, which is namely the actual drug stuff and all the rest are too low. So they'll prioritize this. Otherwise you end up with your drug guy going around and smashing off rocks instead of going over and doing, you know, the drugs, which they have the intelligence for. It'd be like getting Walter White and, you know, getting him to clean the tires on cars instead of making crystal meth. It just, it makes no sense. There are some things I have been messing up on. Namely, I keep forgetting to convert Riza. Um... Well, your timing is excellent, Riza. We'll wait until you two beat the snot out of each other. Hey, we also reduced your certainty while you're beating the snot. Yep, yeah. and Bjorn's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, don't care. He's just getting on with his day. I, I love his motivation. It's like, yeah, 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 whatever. I'm just going to convert you. you. You keep beating the snot out of each other. I'll come back later. All right, done. You're down to 57% certainty. I would really like them to stop getting that negative from eating meat. So I think once everyone's got a little bit of medical attention, how are you looking? All right, we'll get you some medical attention and then we're immediately going to do a conversion ceremony. Or we will let everyone take a nap. Fine, fine. It's uh, the middle of the night, I suppose. Uh, under research, we're coming up on flak armor. That's going to be done shortly. And at the same time, I think I'm going to go down and grab grass operation real quick so we can get some heavy SMGs and just get some consistent firepower. Cargo pods. Wonderful. What are you? You are... Ooh, package survival meals. We'll take you. Thank you very much. Uh, then, is everyone awake? Yeah, just about. Chris, how you doing? Yep, okay, we'll let Chris do a little bit of a nap. But once Chris is up and about, we're going to go do a couple of rituals. A quick conversion attempt on Riza. It looks like the quality is pretty good. Yeah, we'll begin that. Why not? If we can convert them a little bit closer to our religion, that would make our lives so much easier. As well as that, it gives everyone a chance to socialize, and I still... Oh, what's this? Nope. That one. We still have not got up to 10 points. I've been kind of unfocused in our attempts. The problem is we're trying to get Psy powers, which I still haven't assigned out those two neuroformers. Uh, we're also trying to get our religion up, and we're also trying to get weapons and armor, and we're trying to... Uh, I need to focus a little bit more, so I think for now what we're going to do is focus on getting the religious stuff knocked out so we can convert our ideology. Then we're going to focus on getting guns, and then we're going to focus on the Psy powers. I'll assign out the Psy powers to Wojciech and Tyler in a minute. I just want to see how this works out for Riza. How you doing, buddy? Effective conversion ritual. Ugh, still at 28%. That is just not great. But we do have five points available to us. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we'll do a couple of those uh, little dance parties and everyone will be even happier. Flak armor is finally completed. But that's enough of that for now. Uh, I think, yeah, we're going to go straight up for gas operation. But once gas operation is done and we've got some heavy SMGs, it's going straight to war caskets. I want to try and get those knocked out today because it would be nice to actually try some of the newer mod stuff, barring just the side cast that we've been getting. Oh, it's getting late. You know what? Let's grab one, two... Oh, I want to grab a few people and do a little bit of a hunting. It's also time to assign out some psi powers. I figure we'll just go down along the line. Bjorn can't get any. They are psychically deaf. Bit of a downside, but it is what it is. Chris already has their psi powers. In fact, they've got a few levels, four points that I want to kind of spend. I think we're probably going to take them to the tech on the Mansur path so they can gain access to the, uh, basically crafting a Psy ring. We'll, we'll do more on that later. So we have to decide what we want Tyler and our other pawn to get into. Now, where were we? Ah, there we are. You, use that Neuroformer. And as well as that, we're going to get Wojciech in here. No, Wojciech, you're also going to use that Neuroformer. And let's see. Clean that thing. You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Psycast wise. Now, I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make them a necropath. We're going to make them one of those guys who summon stuff and all that. But first, we want to improve their psi generation abilities. So right now, they've got artistic flame. Ooh. I think we're going to give them science as well. Yeah. Actually, let me demonstrate. It'd probably be easier. It's zero o'clock at night, and we want Tyler to meditate. Uh, what are they doing? They're meditating at... Ah, the statue. They're going to get 24% bonus from meditating at the statue because they're of their artist, whatever, or their, their psychast affinities. So their focus type is flame and artist. We don't have a flame in there yet, but we're, uh, we're putting down this, which will boost up their psi focus gain. And this basically determines how quickly they gain points up here and how fast they level up. But I figure let's put some points in here and watch this one. Science is, science is good. That just went up by 50%. Basically, the way it works, best I can tell 
it takes the level of the science building. So this gives a 100% science efficiency. Its research speed is 99% or 100%, let's say. At 100% research speed, you get half of that turned into sci-focus gain or sci-focus bonus. So having this here gives them a 50% bonus. And once we stick in one of those things that boosts up the research reactor a little bit or the research by about another 10%, they'll get another 5% on top of that. So it's a 50% bonus just for sticking them in the room with this thing. Kind of crazy. Um, they've already got flame and we've got one more point to burn. So let's check that into, I suppose, minimal is probably our best bet. Yeah, and with minimal, that brings them up to... 96%. Excellent. And once we get a brazier in there, they'll be even happier. And if we get them a title with the Empire, they'll be even happier, happier. Yeah, this is, uh, kind of broken. Oh, damn it. I just realized something. I probably shouldn't have given that side trainer to Wojciech. He already had some points with the Empire. Meh, whatever. You live and you learn. You make mistakes. You just have to adapt and overcome. All right. Oh, and Wojciech, what is your affinities? You have just artistic. Well, in that case, we're going to make you, well, science. Yeah, it's definitely got to be science. And we'll give you some minimal as well. And then we'll probably put you into flame. We're probably going to burn like the first three or four points just in buying these some of these before. I mean, we can even put in morbid on a few people just so that they can get, uh, we'll put a sarcophagus in here and make them even happier. Hey, okay, let's uh, get this done. Oh, and I should probably change Tyler's schedule back to normal. Well, while everyone's having a nice little nap and... Thinking of sweet dreams and all that stuff, we've got a mechanoid cluster landing. Uh, let's see how this works out. And why is it on such fast speeds? Slow down a bit. What do we got? We have a smoke spear. Ugh. We have a centipede gunner. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Mech assembler, mech assembler. That's going to produce a scyther. That's going to produce... A... No, we cannot afford any of this. We need to kill these guys. Hmm. Well, we do have a shock lance. We should probably shock one of them, kill the lancer and the scorchers. Then we'll have to use smoke to take out the turrets. Ooh, nope, no unstable power cells. And a countdown activator of 1.5 days. So we got a bit of a time limit. Uh, I doubt our time spells that Chris has access to will do anything to them. The thing is, all of his spells like age, time forward, mechanoids don't care. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure there's anything we can do with any of those abilities. Nope, nothing. Damn it. Ugh. And we just spent the points on the other two boys, so there's nothing they can contribute to the fight either. Actually, Chris does have a few sidecast points available. What Technomancer sounds like a good call. They've got four points available. We can unlock Technomancer. Now, this is all about, well, basically tech and stuff like that. And there's a ability here called Haywire. Subject in area to psychic interference. Temporarily reconfiguring up to three automated weapon systems to protect the caster and their allies. Duration scales with the caster's psychic sensitivity. And by automated weapon systems, it means mechanoids. And I'm pretty sure turrets as well, though I could be wrong on that. I like that idea. In fact, it'll take us one point. We, well, do we unlock men to get to it, which allows us to restore stuff? Or do we unlock enhanced quality? I think enchant quality I would prefer to unlock. And we will go with Haywire. Perfect. Now we actually have a weapon against the Mechanoids. All right. But there is a few other things. One, uh, the reason we're here is we want Craft Psy Ring. You're going to want this for pretty much all your casters. What it allows you to do is make a ring out of Eltex. It's a material we haven't encountered yet, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. And you can make a ring and then you can imbue it with a spell. Uh, so basically we could say get Time Sphere, imbue it into a ring, and then any caster can wear that ring and then use time sphere as if they possessed it it's not perfect but it does mean that what you could normally do is say spec someone into chronopath get them to get their most powerful spells give them to craft rings and then you can use those rings to pass out to your other casters then you say tech someone up as a, a harmonist then you take their a, a harmonist and a technomancer and then you get them to use psi rings of whatever is really good in harmonist uh, same with all the other ones, like even Necropath. You take stuff that you really like there, like Enthrall, Death Shield, Resurrect, whatever. You can make a ring of it, and then you don't have to need everyone to spec into that. You can just give them the ring when they need that particular spell. So I think everyone's going to get one ability section and one into Technomancer just so they can get that. Also, I kind of want to get my hands on reverse engineering. It will save us an awful lot of time on uh, learning how to research stuff. Anyway, first thing in the morning, I think we're going to have to go out and fight that uh, mech cluster. And down here, this place is on fire because I stupidly decided to shoot some boomlopes without waiting until the rainy season because I'm an idiot. Uh, are you injured? 
And now you'll be fine. You're not going to die. Uh, first thing in the morning, ladies, we're going after a mech cluster. And we do have a smoke launcher around here somewhere that we purchased earlier that will come in very valuable versus the turrets. Okay, everyone's had a last meal. Let's get them all together. Bjorn, how are you looking? Fine. We need to head all the way over here in the rain and take this on. I think coming through here would probably be the best bet. And we're going to be relying really heavily on Chris here. If Chris can turn a few of them against each other, by the time they've finished murdering Ising each other, we should be in the clear. Just want to make sure we get everything. Like, those scythers are going to pop out. The moment we activate this, those scythers are going to kick in, and that's ah, going to be nasty. So, let's get everyone together. You got the lot? Yep, that's the whole team. Chunks of spacecraft have impacted nearby. Well, that was some good predictive. Okay, dun dun dun. You, Chris. Where are you? Perfect. We want to see... The range on Haywire is. Okay. Okay. Now I know what's going on. You've got like a 9x9 nine nine grid. Uh, now the question is, where can you target? Now we want to get them... The thing is, we want to get them in range enough to hit a few things? No, that's not going to hit the centipede. We need to be one tile further to the... How about if you're there? Can you hit this? No. This is getting far too close. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Did you know mechanoids are deaf? I know, very unusual. Very deaf. Very, very deaf. They'll sleep through anything. Excellent. So, Chris, now can you hit... Yes, now you can... There we go. Much better. All right. Uh, no, actually... What I want to do is leave someone behind with a gun. You. You can stay behind. I want someone with range. We need to trigger them. When it comes to, well, hitting them with abilities, uh, the problem you face is sort of, they don't act, until they're activated, abilities won't work on them. So if you wanted to say, psychically shock lance someone, it won't work while they're sleeping. You have to wait till they wake up. When it comes to these mechanoids, these are basically, if I tried to shock lance one of these now, nothing would happen. They have to be awake first, so haywire. Uh, yep, that should be just about right. What's the t cast time on that? Casting time is 0 0.05 seconds. Exit. You're going to cast that and then immediately juke down here. Jason, you are going to shoot that thing. You're going to do this real slow. Okay, real slow. Perfect. Haywire has been activated. You two get out of there. Okay, so look at them. This turret is haywire. Uh, I don't know about you. How's the centipede gunner doing? Haywire for one hour. Haywire for one hour. Perfect. I thought they were supposed to fight for us, though. It said fight for us. Haywire. Temporarily reconfigure up to three automated weapon systems to protect the caster and their allies. That's a problem. Mm, fine. That means we have to start the fight now. Oh. They are actually fighting. Wow. Our guys really suck at shooting. Uh, let's just pull back a bit. Run, run, run! It's flamers! Uh, we need to spread out a bit more. I hate flamers. Wow, we suck. Oh, Jason. Uh, don't worry, Jason's always depressed. So getting on fire, that's just, uh, yeah. It's probably a happy day for him. Uh, how are you guys doing? You are still haywire, but only for a short while longer. Uh, that's not good. I didn't bring any smoke with me either. Oh, I d Ooh, you're about to pop. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get in closer. Let's get ready to haywire some more people. Oh, excellent. That makes things much simpler. Six seconds left on that. And in that case, Chris, gonna need you up here, buddy. Uh, everyone else... Get in behind Chris. Chris's job is to haywire those things so that they don't bother us so more. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yep, we can nab them again. I don't want to hit him again, though, until the first one's worn off. There we go. It's worn off. You can tell because they're looking at us. Uh, right there. Nice. They killed each other. Okay, there's only one turret left on the other side there. And this guy... People shoot him. Quick, 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 quick. 
I love the way they're automatically shooting him. They're like, yeah, you may be haywire, but you're not haywire in a good way. Whoa. That haywire is very useful for taking out small mech clusters. It does make the start of this a lot easier. Uh, you. You need to get destroyed. And done. All right, Chris. Ooh, you got nabbed a little bit. In fact, let's check everyone. No, burn. It's fine. Nothing too crazy going on. Ooh, we need to take out that, and I really don't want to have to come back here with a smoke launcher. Truma! Yeah, you know, you, you're you new, and yeah, you're not, like, really valuable in, like, I mean, I don't mean you're not really valuable, but uh, you have terrible traits. So, how would you like a mission called, uh, yeah, uh, target fodder? Okay. And we're going to put her behind here. Uh... Is she? Is that turret not shooting back? Why is the turret not shooting back? I don't get it. I was going to use her to get shot at by the turret and then run Chris up to hit the turret with haywire. Turns out I didn't need to do that. Okay. Um. In that case, let's uh, kill the last of this thing. Fine. That worked out really, really well. Problem solved. Right. Uh, we'll take some of this stuff back with us and we're done. Waste not, what not. While we're out here, we're going to take all that slag back. That tasty, tasty steel will be helpful when we want to make ourselves some of those war caskets. All right. Uh, that's that threat dealt with. Dealt with. I was kind of expecting that to be an awful lot worse. Why are you so unhappy? How did your daughter die? We probably killed her, I suppose. I just I can't remember when. Is it one of the royals, maybe? Or one of the tribals? Uh, who knows? You know, I kind of feel like Vasilis is messing with me. Uh, that's another mechanoid cluster. Um. Right. Why would you do that? Uh, you three should probably not be heading this direction. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just head back. What do we got this time? We have a high mech shield projectile thingy. A mortar. That's a problem. That's an auto inferno turret. That's a big problem. That's about to, like... Oh yeah, it's not dormant. It's going to fire. The mechanoids are sli Oh. How do we... We need to get everyone here now. We, we don't have a choice. Problem is, uh, Chris is currently taking a nap. Psychic coma for 16 hours. By the time he wakes up, this will all be over. Uh, we need to get everyone. Like, the whole team needs to get together, and we're gonna have to brute force ignorance this. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck a lot. Uh, I figure we drill in a hole here, and we kill that. We go to avoid that inferno turret. If it starts hitting us with flames, we're in trouble. We're gonna have to take on a centipede, and whatever that thing is, while hopefully killing the mortar fast enough before it incinerates our base. Uh, yeah, if it hits anything valuable, especially Chris, who's currently incapable of moving, that could be a problem. All right, let's get everyone over here. Tyler is first on the scene. We got 100 seconds before that mortar starts firing. We got Jason, we got Basil coming up. All the rest of the team are real far back. Question is, what happens if we start shooting that wall? I say we start going through it now. We can't go around the corner. If we go around the corner, that turret's going to start hurting us. Can't see any way to get an angle on this where that turret doesn't become a problem. Maybe we go around there. Then we're at distance from the centipede. I want to get that centipede tied up in close combat as quickly as possible. What I'd like to do is blast a hole in this wall. If the centipede pokes his head through the wall, we then start smashing him with the butt of our rifles. The moment he's tied up in close combat, that's great. That might expose us to the inferno turret, though. Question is, is this gonna... Ooh. We want to blast open here or here. If we blast open here, that means it's gonna slow it down crossing that... No, we'll blast open here. Yep, they've woken up. Okay. That thing's about to run that corner over there, isn't it? Okay. Bye, hey boys. Uh, ooh, Jason. Well, you're depressive, so... Yeah, sorry, buddy. It's all you. Around the corner, guys. Get, get. Ooh. Ooh. Did that guy fire? I can't tell if you fired it or not. I've got any excitement. I lost track of everything. Uh, can you shoot there? No, you cannot. One step further to the right. 
Oh, damn it. This is going to be awkward. Maybe this side is better. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hide! Uh, back again. Damn it, no. Wait, we got 57 seconds. That thing's lurking in the background. We need to get a better angle, so if it would move on, that would help us greatly. Perfect, perfect. And we need to rush in. Uh, you need to get back. 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 Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. That's that done. We don't care about the rest. We can lure this guy out and beat the absolute snot out of him once he's away from the flame turret. The flame turret is the only thing we're afraid of. That flame turret will cause us huge problems. We can come back with a smoke launcher later and fix that thing up. Uh, who's, uh, yeah, Jason, front and center. No offense, but uh, your loss would be less of a loss. What the hell? Where did you guys even come from? Um, right, that is a big problem. Damn it, I don't want to waste a shock glance on this, but I think I might have to. Problem is, we're going to have to cover a lot of distance to get close to these guys. Damn it, uh, and we're trapped between a rock and a hard place. Actually, eh, that might be our best bet. That will force them to get closer, and hopefully we can get them close enough that we can... Kill them. Oop. Hey, Jason. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that worked. Um, do we have space to hide Jason in there? I don't think we do. Ooh. This is really awkward, Jason. Sorry about this. I uh, did not mean to leave you out in the open like this. It just, uh, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, these high shields intercepts aerial projectiles, so mortars and stuff. Hiding behind this won't protect us from them shooting. It only protects us from mortar shots, I believe. Well, I'm gonna need Jason to run interference then. Run that way. Yeah, keep going, buddy. Sorry about this. Hopefully we can get you far enough away. Either they chase you... No, they can get a bead on us from there. Oh, uh, great. We've got to run them down, don't we? All right, Jason, I'm going to need you to draw fire. Yep, 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 keep running. And I think we're going to get everyone to spread out. Who's got the best armor? Troma, you are the most expendable of the rest of the remaining ones. Uh, after that... I mean, Riza is not terrible, but uh, I don't want to risk Tyler or anyone with Silinx. Problem is, Tyler and Vocek both have uh, good armor on, which means I probably should be running them. Uh, they're our bestest cook, so no. Eh, uh, Riza, I'm afraid. You gotta run, buddy. Uh, you guys tuck in tighter. And then charge. Quick, 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 quick. Troma took a clip. Come on! Oh, okay. Get in close, we want to minimize the chances of friendly fire. Oh. I'm honestly kind of shocked no one's dead. I gotta check the footage to see where these things landed. I, I don't know how they came down on us. Maybe, oh, they must have landed over here and had to walk all the way around. And I somehow blindly missed it. Yeah, I checked the footage. Turns out there was a mech drop beacon, which I completely missed in my uh, motivation to get down here real quick. Oopsie. Well, that's that's fine. Uh, all of you need to go home. Let's check out what kind of injuries we're dealing with. Nose gone. That's the problem. That's going to make you uh, socially not great. Troma, how are you doing? No, no permanent damage, though you are bleeding out in 11 hours. Wow. Idris, you are just a magnet for damage. You've lost your lung, uh, your arm, well, that hand was gone already. So, like, the lung's new, but that destroyed hand, yeah, that's a previous injury. Uh, right leg, nope, 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 okay, okay. 
Oof, we're gonna need to seriously fix up Idris when we get a chance. Uh, you guys, yeah, it's time to head back. I'll have to zone them out of this area to make sure that they don't do anything stupid there. But you need to go home and get medicked up. Idris is gonna take a while. How slow are you? 2.11. Hopefully you make it back before you run out of, uh, well, blood. A resident doctor is feeling a little stressed. Uh, somehow I think now is not the time. God, prioritize tending to yourself if you wouldn't mind first. Once you've tended to your own wounds, uh, you are going to go and tend to Idris. And then once you've tended to Idris, we'll get you to tend to Troma before she dies out. Uh, in fact, I think... Yeah, just two... We'll get you to tend just once more to yourself and then you can leave the rest. It's just uh, we are in a, a little bit of a bind here. We are really short on... Yeah. Our only other medic is currently unconscious and slept through the whole thing. Lazy git. After all that of excitement, Basil got an inspired taming. So cool, if you want a new animal. Uh, ritual is available for some of our people who don't share our religion. And we've got a combat supplier approaching, which looks like one of the city's ones. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a ghost goosey. Though I should really put together a um, comms console so that we can get those uh, orbital traders. I've been really lazy about that so far. Selling off a bunch of the random weapons we acquired uh, just nets us 85 silver, which is pathetic. The only things they have that I'm interested in are this carbine. Looks sort of like a heavy SMG, just different skin. Similar sort of damage, similar sort of rate of fire, similar burst, and probably similar accuracy. Seems like a close range, uh, well, close range-ish weapon. There's a marksmanship rifle, which has good range at 37, but it's just its rate of fire is too abysmal. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks nice, but I don't think we want it for what we're going for. Uh, however, we will need to sell some stuff to make up for that, and you know what? We've got drugs. So, yeah, take a bunch of the drugs, please. There. Perfect. That buys exactly what we were looking for. Which reminds me, I would love to do, like, there's so many things I want to do. I still not cracked open the Ancient Danger, but it's fine. It is fine. We can get our into all of that in a bit. Oh, and I should really turn on the smelter so that we can smelt up some of that. Just we don't have enough power. In fact, I'm going to have to start researching some of the power stuff just so that we can run all of this junk. Never really got into solar or wind windmill generators or, or sort of the wind turbines. Really should do that and maybe get some batteries. Actually, no, that battery will do us fine. It's just we're not really set up. I haven't been treating this like a normal colony so far. I don't think I really want to. I kind of like how this is just a little bit haphazard. And definitely tell I'm rusty. Just just to check here, under options, under gameplay, under storyteller, it's Bacillus the Bestower. The only thing he's bestowing upon us is, is just lots of mechanoid clusters. This is... Yep, there's another one right there. The only reason it's not landing here is we still haven't finished wiping out these... What's even the time frame on this? This was... The first mech cluster was on day 39.9. It is now day 42. So three mech clusters in three days. That is actually... Two, two point something... That's... That's intense. That's... Uh, that's fun. Okay, then. Right, we're going to have to... Where is everyone? Yeah, everyone's inside. That is fine. No one's anywhere near the mechanoids. Right. And let's see this here. Hmm. What do you got for us? You are climate adjuster. Minus 10 temperature. You are dormant with a similar lancer. This is going to be much more awkward. Problem is these are very close. Unstable power cell. What I wouldn't give for invisibility right about now. We could do some serious damage to them. Okay, okay, let me think, let me think. Good news, bad news situation. Good news, two unstable power cells. Hell yeah. Bad news, countdown activator means in three hours this thing's active and we won't be able to get in range. Considering there's three pikemen there and it's going to spawn a lancer, that's bad for us, we would prefer to get in close. They also have a mech drop beacon and we have no idea what's in there. I'm thinking we get in the team right now, we line up along here, we activate but immediately turn as many of these as we can to our side. Probably the turrets. And then we hit up a second dose on those. So if we can get most of these things on our side, we should be able to just gun them down before it wears off, or the hypnotism, or whatever it is that Chris has. The haywire. The haywire ability. Before that wears off. We need to grab the entire team, and we need to go now. Uh, actually, Idris? Yeah, you're missing a lung, buddy. We'll, we'll just sort of have to leave you there. And I don't think Choma can come either, can she? 2.3? She might make it. What's her needs at? You're in some serious pain. You're probably going to have a mental break. Sorry, but we got to take you all. Riza, how you doing? Well, your nose is gone, but never mind. You were a fur anyway. You're never going to be a looker. 
Fine, you're all coming. Uh, except for Idris, because they're missing a hand and a lung. Literally, you know, they've they've given parts of their body for this colony. Right, uh, no, we're going to have to line up behind trees. And what I want to do is try and use this building here as a sort of a line of sight breaker between these three and us. So if we can turn these three first, wait until the spell recharges, and then hit those three second. Wherever everything else lands, it'll be a problem for another day. Ooh, back here is looking pretty good. Yeah, and we'll put the uh, more sacrificial pawns sort of up front in either tree cover or behind that ancient exosuit strider. We just got to make sure they get here in the next three hours. Well, the team are all here, and this is where it gets interesting. Okay, you guys. Oh, actually, you can go over there a little bit closer if you wouldn't mind. Excellent. Everyone but Chris is going to fire at Tesla, Tesla Ron. I hate those things. I hate those things with a passion. They set everyone on fire, and it causes problems. Uh, then we're going to very slowly. Perfect. And did he do it? Yeah, he did the haywire. And how is that Tesla Ron still firing? Okay, they've got a Scorchio guy and another guy coming forward. Uh, where the where the drop pods land? I know there was supposed to be drop pods. Maybe they haven't landed yet, but they will in a bit. Damn it! How is that guy still alive? Hey, right. I think. Yeah, Chris, go for it. Grab that guy. I do not, do not want that Scorcher firing at us. Perfect. How is that guy still alive? You, fire at will. Um, I think we kind of have to target that guy. He's too close. Grant. Okay. Now, would anyone, for the love of all that is holy... Take out that frickle Tesseron. Have you... How is he still alive? Hell of a tough guy. Right, let me see if I've got enough people to kill the guy. Well, we've got a bunch of people lined up to shoot. Uh, you can attack that guy. I hate Scythers. Right, that's about to pop. That is good. You are still haywire, and we're going to target these Scythers. I do not like getting any closer. Oof, we're going to have to... We might have to just... Neurally overcharge you just a tiny bit here if these scythers getting too much closer. Yeah, no, that's too close. You, quick. Okay, perfect, perfect. That leaves that guy over there. We've killed the Tesleron! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. Everyone's really bad injured. It's been a tough week, guys. I know it's been a tough week. I am really sorry about that. But it's just, you know, this guy's being a douche. Oh, no. Well, that's a problem. I really wanted those. Ah, uh, there we go. What can you do? Hey, guys, get in close. Who's the fastest? Oh, Wojciech. Fine. Melee him down. No, Wojciech's been hit. Rizza. Punch him in the face. Okay. Oh my god. Ow! Oh. Why has it been so busy? Like, that's been intense. All right then. Let me try and clean up this mess and hopefully another mechanoid cluster is and land on top of our heads while we do it. I love that Wojciech has a gaping wound in his leg and he's like, I'm just going to play some horseshoes while I'm waiting. Yep, yeah, I'll just throw some horseshoes. Maybe I'll get my medical problems attended later. It's fine. Who cares? Death in 24 hours? No, no, actually he's healed enough that he's not going to die in 24 hours. Checking the footage, I have over an hour of this stuff. Somehow the time just flew by and we still, still have not gotten as far as war caskets. Yeah, I wasn't expecting three mech raids to hit so quickly in succession, and we did take out three encampments today, so it actually has been rather busy now that I think about it. Uh, plan will be blowback operation, gas operation, and then war caskets in the next episode. We just want to knock that stuff out. I've also just noticed you can make caster gear here. You can now actually build the stuff. I presume you have to find Eltec, which is a mi mineral we haven't actually found yet. It's quest only, I believe. I am really happy with the Bacillus Storymaker guy. Like... He has bestowed quite a lot of fun upon us in the last few days. I was not expecting him to be able to be that active. Well, that makes things more interesting. I was kind of 
I was planning on switching to Winston Waves for a bit, of, you know, do five wa waves of Winston Waves just to spice things up, but he's been kind of keeping me on my toes. Uh, we've got some people there who are missing a, a few body parts, which, yeah, we can we can fix that later, and hopefully in a way no one's anticipating. There's a, a few different magic trees that do some randomly cool stuff that I would really like to explore. But the Psy powers are very slow to develop. It's just, it takes forever to get them to any of the interesting points because normally what happens is you need to open multiple trees and combine them together to come up with some of the really fun effects. But uh, that's going to have to take a little bit longer, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Thank you.